Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Isabel Joins and this is my IBTM video. This is the first year I've been to IBTM and also we tagged on a few days to do some site visits and some extra meetings. So I thought I'd just film it all um, to kind of give a bit of an essence of what I was doing while I was there. But just a bit of context on what IBTM is. It's a big exhibition where agencies, clients, um, all your visit Britons, all your visit any country in the world, hotel chains, exhibitors, they all come together and we have a big events industry kind of um, meetings. There are destination meetings, there are knowledge meetings, there's just so much going on. You can buy tickets for this, obviously the exhibitors will pay so much for a stand and they'll go and you can be a hosted buyer like what I was. I think students get a special rate as well, I'm not 100% sure because I didn't look into it but um, you can go, it's brilliant. I was luckily hosted so I got to stay in the W um, Barcelona while I was there. But like I said I tagged on a few days um, with my company so we did some extra hotels as well. Um, but yeah, I'm just getting to the video so I can talk about it afterwards how it was, but just a bit of an insight on what it was like beforehand. So once you get accepted onto a hosted buyer, you get um, kind of a portal website kind of thing, which is quite useful. A point what meetings you want, um, because obviously there's so many people you can meet with and you have specific people you want to see or want to find out about and stuff like that. So you appoint those, they give you an agenda, you can self-select extra ones, you can self-select your destination presentations and you can self select your knowledge programs as well so i'll get into it um yeah and oh and they give you a floor plan thank goodness because when you see the videos you'll see how large it is and that would be mind-blowing they've got staff around to help you so i'll just get into the video and show you how it was good morning everyone so today is the 28th of november and obviously I am going to IBTM, so I'm travelling to Barcelona. I am travelling slightly earlier because we've got some site inspections to do. But literally last night, Boris Johnson has updated us on needing um, PCRs instead of lateral flow. And obviously, I've already purchased my lateral flow. And there's kind of like a bit of a stress of, you know, if the um, regulations or the borders close or anything like that. So I'm just praying everything is okay. So I am going to Birmingham Airport, but before I've got to stop off because me and my boss need to obviously sort out our um, PCRs and check what we're doing um, in terms of what paperwork and going over what we definitely need. So that's what I'm doing. I haven't put any makeup on because you know, like I feel like when I'm in the um, in the plane, my skin dries out so much. So I'm trying to keep my skin as moisturized as possible. But I think everything is. Um, prepped i hope everything's prepped my case is huge um but yeah i'll take you along to it all so i've just made it to the first hotel and this room is absolutely stunning look there's me <laughs> not so stunning right now but wow look Oh my gosh, I love this like white interior, oh wow, little coffee machine, beautiful large mirror, TV, beautiful bed, um, got a sofa, <laughs> and an armchair, I love these lamps, look at that, um, what have we got here, book on the resort, some nuts, um, a little note, bottle of wine, so I have literally just got here to Barcelona our flight was delayed by an hour because of the weather they had to de-ice the um, runway and they had to de-ice the um, plane but no it was really fast I've slept for the whole thing but this room as I've just showed you is absolutely stunning it's beautiful I'm so grateful for this bedroom honestly um, but now we're just going to go and get some dinner because we're hungry. It's quite late. It's about half nine, but obviously in UK time, because Barcelona is an hour ahead, it would be only half past eight. So we're going to go and get some food now. <laughs>
so today is Monday the 29th. Although I look awful, I actually feel really um, fresh. I slept really, really well last night. Um, the hotel is beautiful. But this morning we're going to get some breakfast and then we've got a meeting and a site visit. So we need to get off and do that as well. Um, yeah, I'll fill in with you later. <laughs> gorgeous facilities here it's so nice um but now obviously i'm in my bikini i'm going to the wellness center um i've been booked in to do pyrotherapy which is in two chambers the first chamber is um minus 60 and the second one is minus 120 i think so apparently it's meant to be like really good so i'm gonna i'm gonna see if i can last um it's two 20 seconds in the first one and two and a half minutes in the second one um but i've got to take all my piercings out um, but I think they gave me some like earmuffs because I've got like obviously nine in my ears. Um, so yeah. Um, and then I've got an hour's back massage and then I'm just going to chill in the spa and the sauna for dinner. So a bit of relaxing before IBTM um, tomorrow when it's all going to be hectic and I'm going to be tired. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it and I'm really looking forward to it. And I think it's weird, like we left Birmingham and it's literally snowing and it's so glorious here. It's lovely. So yeah. center was so so nice although the chirotherapy was so cold honestly they gave me like um a headpiece to cover all my piercings and like a plaster for my belly bar and i was literally i was shaking in the first room never mind the second room and i felt like it was so cold and then afterwards they gave me a green tea and some knots and then i had a one hour full body massage which was lovely um, they let me choose the scent I wanted and everything and that was gorgeous um, and they gave me some water and more knots and then I went into the sauna and the steam room um, which was so so lovely I went into the pool um, and it was sunset as I went in so that was lovely but now I'm just going down for dinner um, and then it will be packing up ready for IBTM tomorrow <laughs> first day of IBTM it's really early because we're actually in Girona at the moment so we've got to travel just over an hour to Barcelona um so I've got to quickly pack and then we're leaving it's really early it's like seven so I best go off <laughs> Thank you. 
so I've just came back from IBTM and then we went to the host of buyers for drinks and then we went to an um, a hotel for food which was lovely so now we've just checked into the w it's ridiculous time honestly i'm so not ridiculous time but you know how it gets when you're chatting away i've got two beds but obviously i'll only sleep in one but i love the bathroom area it's so cute um but i'm honestly just trying to get to sleep now tonight because i'm so so tired <laughs> so i woke up this morning super duper early um because we're going to ibtm again day two i'm so tired and uh, got in at like two after the meal and then we have to you know do your taxi rounds or whatever um and then i got up this morning and we've got a networking breakfast this morning at the w where i'm staying um and then we're gonna go to the event so i'll take you along to it honestly i'm really tired you know when you feel like you just um haven't even woken up yet but no i'm sure i'll get the buzz of the event the minute i walk in <laughs> So today has been honestly so tiring, but so amazing. I've had so many brilliant um, meetings today. Um, did some destination um, presentations I went to go and see. And then um, I went on to the Moscow stand. They had like cocktails and stuff, which was really good. A nice way to finish it. But a lot of people are going um, to like after meals after drinks and stuff um i've got obviously because i'm a host of buyer seven till nine in the w now so we're having it in the eclipse bar and um, some cocktails and then i'm going to um a venue afterwards i'm not 100 percent what it's called but i'll take you along to that but it's been really really amazing i am so so tired though um but obviously so grateful to be going um obviously it's been so quick changeover so i've literally just put some heels on um because to be honest, I really struggle to turn up these buttons, but yeah, I'll take you along to it all. After my appointments today, we are going to La Meridian Ra for a look around and we will stay there and then tomorrow we will be going to the airport and flying home. Um, last night was so good, we went obviously to the reception here at the W and then we ended, ended up going to um, the Hard Rock, the Rock, Hard Rock Cafe, that's it, um, which was really fun. Um, but yeah, today I'm just going to go down and get breakfast and begin my meetings.
so I have finished my three days at IBTM. It was absolutely amazing. I had some great meetings and stuff, but we've now, um, we did another site visit um, at another hotel, and now we've come to a different hotel, which is now my fourth hotel now, being here, which is absolutely amazing. Um, I didn't realize they were actually opening the hotel for me and my boss just to stay. Um, which is lovely, it's got a lovely beachfront and everything. Um, but I'll show you my room. Um, this is, so obviously you've got your bathroom, um, day, toilet, shower, um, yes, um, and then a TV, living room area, they've been very nice to give me a duplex as well. Um, I'll actually admit I've never stayed in a duplex. Um, this is the outdoor area. I might show you this in the morning actually because um, It's gonna be pretty dark Yeah Yeah, so that's pretty dark So I'll show you that in the morning uh, I've only just seen this <laughs> That's so nice um, Yeah, I've got my TV here and then up these stairs. I would love to live with something like this, you know, like um, apartments that have it. I think it's so awesome. So from like this angle, can you see? Like, so you see down all of this. Um, and then this is the bedroom area with a desk and a second television as well. Um, it's all very nice, it's all very lovely. Another high ceilings. And obviously this is it from down here. Oh, but it's gonna hurt. <laughs> um, and then it's got a second toilet, but this is just a toilet. Um, so you don't have to get up and down the stairs during the night or while you're up here. But no, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm so lucky to be staying here. I'm so lucky to be able to come on this trip. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is just a nice way to finish off a very, very busy um, last few days. It's been absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna unpack, um, fill out my passenger locator form because we are flying back tomorrow and then we're going for dinner. So that'd be lovely. <laughs> we've got to go to um, the airport so we've got up early we're packing and then we are going um, to leave about eight um, I say so early it's not really that early it's just because I haven't really slept properly for the last few days um, and all the beds have been so comfy I just want to keep sleeping um, but no it's been absolutely amazing I'm so grateful to have stayed here I didn't realize um, it was just opening for myself and my boss so i'm so grateful the food was beautiful the service was amazing um we're right next to the beach i'm hoping we see a bit of sunrise before we leave so i can um see the beach again for one last time um but then when we return to the uk we're driving to a test center um just because we want to try and get back to work as fast as possible um and obviously if you have it delivered you have to post it off to get the results whereas if you do it there hopefully it won't be as long um but we'll see but no this trip has been amazing and yeah i'll speak to you later <laughs> BTM 2021 experience it was absolutely amazing and obviously you got to see the extra and site visits and stuff I got to do while I was there but wow it was really really fun I was told by um, a lot of people there that it's a lot smaller than it usually is because of COVID restrictions obviously the industry is one a lot of people have come out of the industry and two um, IBTM had to take um, precautions and not having too many people and stuff like that but you had to show like your COVID passport and or a PCR um, test before entering I just had my results last night because I came back yesterday and I'm negative thank goodness because obviously the day before we flew out like I said 
um, it was lateral flows and then it changed to PCRs, which is about triple the price, but whatever. Um, but no, it was really, really good. If you're a hosted buy, you might be thinking what's different to that. You get to, um, there's like a big sitting area. You get to go in that and have your lunch. And then on the first day, the Tuesday, you got to go to that reception and um, drinks reception there, which was really nice. It kind of felt like a bit like a club. It was really good. Um, because after you have meetings all day like that, it's nice to just let your hair down. Um, and what you find is there's sometimes private meals, private parties that you get to go to. So I got to go to some of those as well, which is lovely. Um, I had lots of brilliant meetings, lots of insightful meetings. And even if you're walking past um, something that you thought, oh, I didn't think to book with them, you can just go over and speak to them. Now, your feet do hurt. My boss told me before you go, where um alternate your shoes don't wear heels a lot of ladies were wearing heels and i'm very impressed because i couldn't because you're doing so much walking um it really hurts your feet but i'm so i feel like i've got really sensitive feet but actually they were okay so i'm so happy about that um the stands were beautiful my favorite stand was the moscow stand they were doing like cocktails and stuff so after the second day me and my boss were like should we go there after all of our meetings um, so that was brilliant. They do like shuttle buses to the airport to the host of buyer um, hotels as well. So that was brilliant. Um, some of the talks, so I went to two of the knowledge talks and one of the destination talks. The destination talk was interesting. I went to the Hong Kong one. Um, but the knowledge talks, I went to one that I thought would be really, really good. Um, the COP26 one. I thought it was going to be um, more talking about um, the strategies to put in place after COP26 because I think that's what it, it was called, something like business events after COP26. Um, but actually it was more about like um, Visit Scotland and the um, venue talking about COP26, which was very interesting, but when you're on a tight schedule um, and you're trying to squeeze all your meetings in, I don't know if that was the best use of my time um, because I was really looking forward to thinking that they were going to give us some really good strategies on how to make our events more sustainable, work towards net zero, perhaps a plan that we can follow to make the companies more sustainable and like I said, go towards net zero. Um, but that wasn't quite like that. But I went to a marketing one, which was really, really good. The gentleman, which I forgot his name, um, he couldn't make it. He was coming from America, but he zoomed in and he did a brilliant, um, he did a brilliant presentation. I took lots of notes on it. I just hope that I can relay it into EMU and boost our marketing. I really hope I can do that. But overall, the event was amazing. It was good to um, network. I was surprised how many people I knew from Milan, from MNIT. Um, they're like, Isabel, and obviously I'm so young. I was like, oh my gosh, like I know someone. I met so many lovely people as well. Um, I met a lovely girl that I kept in touch with. We both have very similar interests, so it was lovely to meet her. Um, but no, it was so, so amazing. Um, but yeah, it was so amazing. I'm so grateful to go. I would recommend going, but you do get very tired. Um, with all the traveling with all the waking up and because you have the such long days then you might have two reception drinks afterwards it can be difficult i stayed in some gorgeous hotels and i'm so grateful for staying in those hotels they were so accommodating so welcoming um i felt like i wasn't sometimes when you're in a hotel you kind of feel like oh i'm in a hotel but i felt so looked after and so welcomed um that i'm so grateful for that but last night when i got home i literally just crashed i was so 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 tired um honestly so tired but now i'm awake i actually feel um really awake now you know because i'm used to being up since five so i'm like Phew, i'm awake but i'm sure i'll crash later but i gave out a lot of um briefs and business cards and stuff like that so monday i'm sure i'm gonna have a lot to respond to on email side um on contacting other people wise but that's perfect you know after the um year and a half that the industry have had with the pandemic it's brilliant that we're all bouncing back we're wanting to build business together we're wanting to network and move forward so that is so brilliant um if you ever have any questions about ibtm because i know i was not stressed that's not the word but um couldn't really understand some of it or wasn't 100% sure. Obviously I had um, colleagues to ask because they've been multiple years, um, but perhaps if it's your first time and you're not sure, you can, you're more than welcome to message me. I will try to answer them. I'm sure I don't know all of the um, answers because I did send two emails to IBTM, but they didn't actually reply. So perhaps if you're in that boat and um, you really need an answer, please, please um, feel free to message me on my instagram comment on this video i will try my best to answer any questions that you have but please like comment and subscribe and please support me i'm so grateful for any support that i have um but yeah i'll tie this video off here so thank you for watching and i hope you have a lovely day